Okay, in this physics problem we're gonna have a car that's traveling with uh, 52.8 miles per hour. Then it slows down with a constant acceleration of 0.50 meters per second square. And it does that just by simply lifting its foot off uh, the gas. Now they want us to calculate the distance that this car will coast until it stops. They are asking us to find the time that it takes till it stops. And then they are asking us to find the distance that it travels during the fifth second. First, let's change the units on this initial velocity of 52.8 miles per hour. We can uh, do some unit conversions. So we're going to multiply it with, uh, let's see, 1.62 kilometers over one mile. One mile has 1.62 kilometers. Then we're going to change the kilometers into meters. So one kilometer has 1000 meters. And then we're going to change the hour into seconds. So one hour has 3600 seconds. Okay, and this will give us 23.76 meters per second. Okay, let's uh, double check, just make sure we didn't goof up anything. Uh, the miles gets cancelled with the miles, the hour gets cancelled with the hour, kilometer with the kilometer, the meter we have it here, and the second we have it here. Good, all right. Here we have our kinematics formulas, and in this problem, actually, we're going to use all three of them. In the first part, we're going to start by using the number three. They are asking us to find the distance that the car will coast till it comes to a stop. Okay, let's use our formula. V square equals V naught square plus 2a, and I'm going to write this as delta x, and this is what we are after. So we're going to go ahead and solve for it right away. We're going to move this on the other side and divide it by this. So we're going to have v square minus v naught square divided by 2a. All these values we have, so we can go ahead and start uh, plugging in. There you go. The V square, our final V is zero, since the car will r roll to a stop. Our V initial was 23.76 meters per second. We're going to raise this to the square. Yeah, the zeros on the square too, but that doesn't really matter. And 2 minus 2 minus 2 times the negative uh, acceleration, which is 0 0.50 meters per second. Our acceleration is actually a deceleration, since the car is slowing, so that's why we have a negative right here. Okay. Delta x equals, with a calculator, we can find the value for this which is 564.5 meters, or we, if you want to write it in scientific notation, 5.6 times 10 to the second meters. There you go, part A done. Okay, for part B, they are asking us the time, and for this we're going to use formula that I have here as number one. Okay, I'm not going to rewrite the formula, we're going to use it just the exactly the same way as it is here. I'm going to go ahead and solve for t. t equals, we're going to move this to the other side, v minus v naught divided by the acceleration. Our v, we know it's zero, so we can go ahead and write negative v naught 
over a. We know these values, so I can go ahead and plug in negative our acceleration, uh, sorry, our initial velocity was 23.76 meters per second. And now in the bottom, our acceleration was negative 0 0.50 meters per second square. There you go. Calculator time, T equals 48 seconds. Now in the part C, they're asking us to find the distance that the call will roll in uh, during the fifth second. So not in the first five seconds, just during the fifth second. For this one, we're going to use formula that's over here I have as uh, number two. And what we're going to do, the game plan is that we're going to calculate what is the distance that is done at second number five, and then subtract the distance that was done during the second number four, or at second number four. Okay, so let's uh, calculate. I'm going to rewrite the formula, but I'm going to put the, a little five over here, so we know that this was at second five. So x naught plus v naught t plus one half a t square. So this is at second five. Let's calculate. This is zero plus v naught 23.76 meters per second times the time, which is five for us, five seconds, plus one half times the acceleration, which is negative 0 0.5, 0 0.50 meters per second square, and times 5 seconds on the square. Okay, with a calculator we can go ahead and find our distance, which will be 112.55 meters. Okay, now again we're going to use the same formula, but this time second 4. At second 4. So, same thing, let's start plugging in. 0 plus 23.76 meters per second times 4 seconds plus 1 half negative 0 0.50 meters per second square times and uh, this will be again second four square now calculator time our distance is 91.04 meters and now we finally can get our answer the distance during there you go nice big x the distance during the fifth second will be simply 112.55 meters, this one, minus 91.04 meters, which is this one. And with the calculator, we're getting, we are able to get our final value, which is 21.51 meters. And I believe we were going to two sig figs in this problem, so let's... Uh, write it as such so 22 meters there you go all right we this was another physics problem here's an overview of it and don't forget to like the video and please subscribe thank you for watching